Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we talk about solving equations. Let's start talking about these simple equations here. 2 plus 3 equals 5 and 6 times 4 equals 24. Now what I can do is I can move the 3 to the other side of the equation by making it negative. So I can get 2 equals 5 minus 3. I can also move the 4 in 6 times 4 equals 24 to the other side by making it a divide. 6 equals 24 divided by 4. So these two equations mean the exact same thing, they're just rewritten in a slightly different way. And the reason for that is because the opposite of adding is subtracting, and the opposite of multiplying is dividing. This is a really important idea, and we're going to use it to solve one-step equations here. So x plus 5 equals 9, and you're going to do the opposite of plus 5, and you'll subtract 5. We get x equals 9 minus 5, x is equal to 4. Over here, b minus 100 equals 23, and you get to add 100 to both sides, and you get b equals 123. Now we've got 4m equals minus 12, the opposite of times by 4 is divide by 4, and you get m equals minus 3. Just remember, that uh, 4m means 4 times m. And finally, I've got k divided by 2 equals 7. This fraction symbol here means divide. So if you ever see the fraction symbol in algebra, it means divide. The opposite of divide by 2 is times by 2, and I get that k equals 14. OK. Now, to check your work, what you can do is put your answers back into the original equations. So, for example, uh, follow the first one. I think the answer is 4. So I can put 4 in to the original equation where the x was. I get 4 plus 5 equals 9, and that makes sense to me. Similarly, you can put 123 into the original equations. 123 minus 100 equals 23. Again, that makes sense. Now, I can put minus 3 into the equation. 4 times minus 3 equals minus 12. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. That all makes sense to me, and it looks like I've got them correct. Now let's make this a bit harder. We can look at solving two-step equations. Okay, so the first thing, we've got 3x plus 8 equals 29. I'm going to do the opposite of plus 8. I'm going to subtract 8. I get 3x equals 29 minus 8, which is 21. And now I divide by 3. So I divide both sides by 3, because that's the opposite of times by 3. And I get that x is equal to 7. OK? I can check this by just putting 7 back into the original equation. And instead of the x, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 8 is 29, and it looks like it makes sense to me. OK, now I've got x divided by 5 minus 1 equals minus 11. You have to get rid of the minus 1 by adding 1 first. And I get x divided by 5 equals minus 10. Remember that minus 1 plus a minus 11 plus 1 is minus 10. Then I get rid of divide by 5 or times by 5, and I get x equals minus 10 times 5, which is minus 50. And I can check, of course, by just putting my answer back into the equation. Minus 50 divided by 5 is equal to, uh, minus 1 is equal to minus 11. Uh, minus 50 divided by 5 is minus 10, minus 1 is minus 11. Yes, that makes sense to me. And again, it looks like I've got this right. Now a final question here, just to make sure you understand uh, what's going on. And this is slightly harder. I've got a plus 7, so I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Minus 28 minus 7 is uh, minus 35. Now it says minus 5 times x. So you're going to do the opposite of times by minus 5. I'm going to multiply, uh, divide by minus 5. And I get x equals minus 35 divided by minus 5, which is 7. And I think 7 is the correct answer. Okay, so here uh, we have finished the video, and it's time for you to try some practice questions yourself. So I'd like you to pause the video here and try to solve all of these equations uh, yourself in your own time. I think it should take about 10 minutes. Uh, so take 10 minutes now and try this yourself. When you're ready, I'm going to reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Let me know how well you did in the comments. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for future videos. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck in your exams.